An emerging trend treating addictions and depression with psychedelic drugs is becoming more popular. One clinic in New York City is using ketamine as an alternative treatment for alcohol and other addictions. And a new study suggests so-called magic mushrooms may alleviate severe depression. For more on the science behind these treatments, let's welcome back Dr. Awais Durrani. Um, Dr. Durrani, first question to you, is the data behind these trials and studies encouraging? It is encouraging. When we look at um, you know the current treatments we have, we have some good treatments, but there is a certain subset of the population that what we have available just simply doesn't work. And so there's been some data over the last decade and then definitely new studies coming out continuously that show some positive encouraging signs. We don't have large randomized controlled studies that we would ideally like to really kind of get approval behind some of these drugs and not be using them off label. But there is um, positive, um, positive indications that we can get more resources and support around these larger studies to kind of help those that have um, some of these health conditions that we don't simply have treatments for right now. Yeah, uh, fascinating. fascinating. And as I said, on top, uh, becoming more and more popular. What does ketamine do to help with addiction? Yeah, so ketamine is a medication that's um, you know used for a wide variety of things. In the ER, the most common thing we use it for is if you are sedating someone to do a procedure, you can use it for pain control. It acts on various receptors in the brain, and what we've found is that even um, a lot of these studies have been conducted on ER patients that get ketamine for unrelated reasons like pain, and then they follow them, and they've noted that you know studies. Um, show that things like depression, anxiety, those rates improve in that group. And so we don't really have the exact mechanism of why this improvement happens, which is why we need more studies and want to make sure that there's no you know, negative harmful effects to it. But there are those kind of initial indicators that these groups of patients who get the, this medication helps. But pain and sedation is what we use it for most commonly. And it's exciting to see that this relatively safe drug can now be potentially used for um, these, you know, mental health conditions, anxiety, schizophrenia, depression that, that could really benefit from them. And one last question on the topic, uh, magic mushrooms, how could the hallucinogen within these psychedelics treat depression? Yeah, so, you know, I'll be honest, I don't know the exact answer to that. Once again, there are, you know, millions and millions of receptors in our brains that interact with each other. Um, you know, the common one, serotonin, is what kind of affects um, a lot of the mental health conditions like depression and anxiety. Um, there's been, you know, some studies that indicate that there's compounds in the mushrooms that, you know, increase serotonin levels, downregulate the receptors that, you know, lead to some of these mental health conditions. But we need a lot more studies and a lot more work to be done to truly understand, you know, how these drugs work and how they potentially could be of benefit. Yeah. Oh, well, Dr. Durrani, thank you so much for uh, speaking with us tonight on that talk topic. We appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.